So Disney is of course moving into their own streaming service, which has officially been named Disney Plus. But along with that announcement, we got two brand new series we're gonna be talking about. So Disney Plus is aiming to be an all-in-one stop shop for everything you could want for Disney. Marvel to Star Wars to Pixar to various other things. And as it was just announced, two series have officially been announced for the service on the side of the ones we already know are coming along with the movies and the Mandalorian things like that. So first up is going to be a Star Wars Rogue One prequel. Yes, a prequel TV series to the prequel movie which Disney produced, but this time focusing on Cassian Endor. So yeah, um, Cassian Endor is honestly a pretty great character. I thought he was very interesting, and I wanted more of his story into how does he become this scoundrelish dude who's willing to do the dirty jobs for the Rebellion. We're gonna find out. On top of that, the second series that got announced is officially confirmed, which we heard uh, probably about a month, maybe a little bit ago, is that they were going to be developing a live-action, low-key TV series with a high budget. This is now officially confirmed, and Tom Hiddleston will be reprising his role as Loki. So, this is honestly pretty major. Um, you know, all things considered, another Star Wars TV series coming after The Mandalorian, so they obviously want Star Wars to be pretty big on there. Loki being the first one they're focusing on instead of something like Scarlet Witch or something, that's pretty major considering Loki, to me personally, feels like he's gonna be higher budget, right? More money, more time to produce. And honestly, how you go with this and, uh, you know, where you take the character remains to be seen, but I don't think it necessarily says that he's still alive after Avengers 4 or anything, because we'll talk about that later on, but there's been a few hints here or there that things could be looking different after Avengers 4. So overall, Disney Plus seems like a huge win right now. <laughs> 